Hello, I am Leonard, and Oblivion is nowhere to be seen, but welcome back to White Knight Chronicles. So we ended up in our last episode beneath Ballandor, running from uh, the, some kind of attack. This episode promises to show lots of action, except from Sisna. She sucks. enemies. So I've basically all we've seen. Don't mind the glowing blue area. I haven't found any importance for it. Again, if you don't remember, the action ships are used for combos. They are displayed in the bottom left-hand corner, right above your attacks. I think that we've got time. Let's sit and skill points. Let's um get a combo. Ah, my favorite. Cheap combo, good attacks. Now you get to see how this thing works. So just get your action chips, set hover over your combo, and button mash. If you do not press the buttons, your combo will be cancelled. Lunging Slash is usually more powerful than Slash, so I'm just going to equip it. And some enemies are weak to stab, so I'll equip Thrust. Safe points usually before an important event. Well, logic stones, but let's call them safe points if we have to, or I forget to call them logic stones. Keep going. Huh? 
Okay. Something's up. What's this? I think it's the treasure vault. Now, if we're at the treasure vault, the enemy's probably trying to come here. Uh -oh. Company. Somehow I doubt that worked. What's that? What's the treasure? This armor, 17 years ago, after the cataclysm. No one knows where it came from. But our scholars think it was made by the ancients. Well, those ancients must have been pretty tall. That is an incorruptus. What? A weapon of war crafted by an ancient race. It is an awesome, cursed power. A weapon? The castle's raiders are after this. They seek a holy relic known as the Ark, a key to the Incorruptus's power. Ark? <laughs> of course you're not dead. Damn it! What are you doing? Fighting. You said it was a weapon, right? Well, now seems like a damn good time to use it. Fool! Stay away from it if you want to live. Only the worthy are permitted to touch that. Maybe so. But if I don't, we're all dead anyway. You mustn't! <sighs> So let's see why we're dead. What happened? Oh, ye who wouldst wield my power. Who's there? Now we have to fight who knows why we're here. There we go. O ye who standeth and liveth before my blade, thou art worthy of a pact, my master. To thee all my power I bequeath. Apparently it's all happened in literally Damn. no time. He's alive? I don't believe it. Could he really be one of the worthy? Oh, Weisel, white warrior, wielder of the ancient sword. Watch out!
They might have wanted to pick a um, more intelligent creature to take that thing. This could prove helpful. This is unexpected indeed. So Cyrus, look! It can't be. Impossible. Why is it moving? Is that you? You're an incorruptus, you use whatever you have. Costs magic. Once you run out of magic, you return back to human. Fighting's too risky here. Change of plan. I think that Leonard just got a whole lot stronger. Time to die, beast. We can fight all we want here. The downside of being an incorruptus is you can get knocked off balance. I think this guy is weak to strike. Are we going to kill this thing yet? Leonard. Once again, that guy is everywhere. How can this thing still be moving? Your Incorruptus' attacks are set by its weapon. Can't learn new abilities except if you change its weapon. This is the armor's power?
and did it. It's over. But how did I... Where did I... Has nobody learned anything through the countless amount of princesses that have been captured? This puts a kink in our plans. I would call this much more than a kink. He's not bad, I'll admit. But so what if he got the Ark? We can sort that out in due course. And we did achieve our other objective. Indeed, time has proven there can be no peace without wise leadership. With their rulers dead, these two nations are bound to pick up arms once again and return to their pointless war. Yes, the world we seek is closed, General. Philosophers and strategists. These guys are well thought out. Princess! You're not gonna beat in the race. On that day, souls once parted came together again. It seemed like mere coincidence. But softly, sadly, the wheels of a cruel destiny had already begun to turn. Another cutscene. Where are we? We're not important at all. But it would appear that we finally got past the introduction. If I'm correct, that should be everything. Nope. <laughs> it cannot be. The king cannot be dead. <laughs> Sir Cyrus, I share your pain, but we must accept this. Sadly, we are the only ones who can hold this kingdom together. Think of Balandor. Sarvain, 
You do not share my pain. The king was like a father to me. He cared for me since I was a child. There is no Balandor without King Valtos. Ours is not the only leader lost. Do not forget, sir, that Archduke Dalam of Faria is also dead. It is very likely that Faria will hold Balandor accountable for the Archduke's murder. Presumably, their governing council is still dominated by the war faction. We must prepare the city for an almost certain invasion. Though it pains me greatly to say it, we have no time for grief. <laughs> for now, we have two priorities. Rescue Princess Cisna and restore the kingdom. Put your sadness aside and remember, your duty as captain of the castle guard comes before your personal emotions. <laughs> as for the boy, Leonard, if I'm not mistaken, you hold the knight's arc and know how to control its power. That means you have made a pact with the knight. Me? A pact? It is said that the knight is a weapon of war, crafted long, long ago by our predecessors, the Ancients. In their writings, they referred to it as the Incorruptus. When the Great Cataclysm 17 years ago opened the ground, long buried ruins were uncovered. Among them was the temple in which the knight was found. We recovered it, and brought it here, to the treasure vault. The king's scholars and scientists spent years studying the artifact, but for all their poking and prodding, they were never able to unlock its secrets. What we learned was that only people the knight deems worthy have the right to wield its power. These are the knight's pact makers. The ancient books would tell us no more than that. Sarvain, he's just a boy. Hey, don't ask me how I unlocked it. I just did. Then the knight has chosen you, lad. And there must be a reason. But that is a question for a later time, I'm afraid. Right now, I have a far more important task to set before you. You must hurry after the princess at once, and use the knight's power to rescue her from her captors. Hmm? Are you mad? Just a darn minute. Leonard isn't part of the royal army. Why send him? The circumstances demand it. The villains who attacked us are part of a group who worship the Ancients. We call them the Magi, because it is ancient magic they use to summon forth their vicious beasts. They are powerful, but not powerful enough to stand against your knight. So what? Solve your own problems. Pardon? Yuli, it's okay. I'll do it. What? But... She needs me. If I can help, I want to. I am glad. Your kingdom will be grateful. Hey, look, me. Is it? We had best hurry. The longer we tarry here, the further away they'll get. I'm not important at all. Are. The name's Aldor. Just a humble traveler. I can swing a sword and cast the odd spell or two. I'd wager I can be of help. Surely you weren't gonna send him alone. Then allow me to join you. No, impossible. Your place is in the capital. I will need you and your men to help control the populace. People are frightened. With both the king and princess gone, you must be there to reassure them. And leave it to strangers? To decide the princess's fate? Whatever must be done. War with the Magi began the moment they beset the castle. Sir Cyrus, we must prepare to defend the realm. Sarvain! <sighs> Very well. We leave on the morrow. Tonight, we rest in town. This looks like it now. 
Unless they're gonna throw another horrible pace cutscene. Yep, another horrible place cutscene. I've sent out one of these bigelows to follow the princess. As we journey, we'll keep us informed of exactly where she is. Always. The bird will find the princess for us? Two birds, Leonard. A pair of bigelows can communicate speech and images over long distances. That's some trick. It appears that the princess has been taken east toward the Norgia tunnels. We must follow her there. An important first, character we on the left. ourselves of the town's shops and prepare for the journey. It's going to be a long one. Just transform if you have seven or more action chips. Only if you're Leonard. Only if you need to. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think we're done. Thanks for watching, and we shall continue right here next time.